today we will be learning how to divide each element in a list in python so let's try to understand the question with the help of an example let's say that this is the given list which has the elements 38 57 76 9 514 and 161.5 now the given value or the divisor with which you have to divide all these numbers is 19 so this basically means that you have to divide each number in this given list with the number 19. That means first you have to divide 38 by 19, then 58 by 19 and so on until 161.5 divided by 19. And then you have to store the quotient of each division in a separate list. So this is how the output list should look. So when you divide 38 by 19, it is 2. So you store 2 in the resultant list in the first index or at the index 0. Then you divide 57 by 19 and the result is 3. So you store that in the first index and so on. Finally, you divide 161.5 by 19 and the result is 8.5 and you store that in the last index of the resultant list. So let us dive into the different approaches which will help us to solve this problem. Let's begin with the basic approach to solve this problem and that is to use a simple for loop. So let's say that this is the given list li and this is the divisor or the number using which we have to divide each element in the list so that is 19 now let's create a resultant list which will store the quotients or the output so let's say as of now it is an empty list and we will slowly append the values or the quotients to this resultant list one by one after dividing each element by 19. so in order to do that we need the help of a for loop so let's go ahead and create a for loop such that for element in li so that means we are iterating across all the elements in this list li then we simply go ahead and divide the element by the given value which is num so this will yield us the quotient now let's simply go ahead and append or add this value to the resultant list with the help of the append method so res dot append and then we append this quotient value to this list res. Finally, once all the quotients have been found and they have been appended to this list res, we come out of the loop and we simply print res. So that's it. Now let's execute this piece of code to find out if this works or not. And there we go. We have the expected output. So this is how you can simply use a for loop to solve this question. Now let's dive into the most Pythonic solution to this question wherein we will be using a list comprehension. With the help of the list comprehension, we can create a one line solution to this problem. So we do not need these lines of code. Let's remove them and let's directly store the output within rest in a list comprehension. And a list comprehension consists of two parts. First part is the expression and the second part is the context. Now, if you want to dive deep into list comprehensions, then please have a look at the link given in the description below, which will take you to the blog, which contains the solutions to this problem. And there you'll find an entire description and explanation with video on list comprehensions. So please feel free to have a look at that explanation if you have any doubts regarding list comprehensions. For now, Let's focus on how we can implement the list comprehension in this question. So as I mentioned, each list comprehension has two parts, the expression and then the context. So let's first have a look at what the context will be in this case. So we need a way to access each element of this list align. And we can do that with the help of a for loop within the context. So let's say that we have a context variable A which will help us to extract each element from the list align. And we can do that simply with the help of this line of code for A, where A represents the context variable in li. That's it, as simple as that. And this will help us to access each element within the list li with the help of the variable A. And now our next task is to divide each element with the given number 19. And we can do that within the expression of our list comprehension. So all you have to do here is you have to define the expression such that you will be dividing each element 
given by a or the context variable a and then divide it by num which stores the divisor value. So this will return the output of each element divided by the divisor in every iteration. So this single line of code will help us to solve the problem. Isn't that easy? And this is probably the most Pythonic way of solving this question. So let's go ahead and execute this code to find out the output. And there we go. So we have the expected output. Well, this is not the only one line solution that you can create for this problem. There is one more one line solution to this problem wherein you have to use the built in map method in Python along with a lambda function. Once again, if you want to dive deep into the lambda functions and the map method, you'll find the entire explanation to these topics in the blog. So please have a look at them. Now let's go ahead and find out how we can implement them to solve this question. So let's say that we will be storing the output within this variable res itself. Now, as I mentioned, we will be using the map method. So we have the map method and now the map method accepts two parameters. The first parameter is a function and the second parameter will be a value or an iterable from which you can pass values one by one to that function. So this is where the lambda function comes into the picture. But before we define or before we pass the lambda function, which should be the first parameter within the map function, let us define the second parameter, which will be the iterable from which we will pass each value. And it is quite clear that we have to pass each value from this list li to the lambda function. So we simply have to pass a list li. Well, now let's define the lambda function which will help us to compute the result of each element within the list divided by the given divisor. So we have lambda x such that the value returned by the lambda function will be x divided by num. Now let's try to understand what happens in this line of code. We have the lambda function which accepts each value from the list li and then after accepting each value from the list li, which is stored within x, we go ahead and divide that value by the given divisor, which is stored within the variable num. So this operation is performed for all the values present within the list li, that is for 38 until 161.5. And each of these values now will be returned as a map object. So when you go ahead and print the result, you will find that you have a map object, but that map object will not be in a human readable form. So let's go ahead and execute this to find out what I'm trying to say. When I'm executing this, see, we have a map object and this is not what we want. This is actually the answer that we want, which is not in human readable form. So in order for us to read this output, we need to store this map object within a list and you can do that with the help of the list constructor by storing this map object within list. That's it. Now let's execute this piece of code and find out the output. And there we go. This is the exact output that we expected. So this is how you can use the map method along with the lambda function to solve this problem. Well, there's one more solution to this problem wherein we have to use a library known as numpy. So I'm quite sure that most of you might be aware of this library numpy. So let's go ahead and import the numpy library. So import numpy as np. Now np is nothing but an abbreviation which will be used for the numpy library. That means it will simply be used to indicate that we are using the numpy library within our code. Now our next task is to go ahead and create an array from this given list li. So we can do that with the help of the array method of the numpy library. So let's say that we are going to store or we are going to convert li into an array which goes by the name arr. Then we have to use np.array method which will convert the list to an array. And all you have to do now is to pass the list to this array function. So that's it. This will convert the list to an array. Now all that remains to be done is to simply divide this array with the given number. 
and you do not have to use any for loop or list comprehension in this case. All you have to do is create a resultant variable res and within that you simply have to go ahead and divide ARR which is our array by the given number num. So this will simply divide each number within the array with the given divisor which is stored within num. Let's print res and let's find out the kind of output that we have. So there we go. As you can see that we have the resultant array which stores the output that we wanted. But now a problem here is that if you look closely then this right here represents an array and this is not a list. So what if you want to convert this array to a list? So to do that all you have to do is to use a method known as to list which will convert this array to a list. So let's say that we have this array res and now you have to use dot to list and this will convert the array to a list. Now let's execute this piece of code and there we go. As you can see that we have the resultant list and it stores the exact expected output. So this is how you can use the numpy library to solve this question. Now there's an advantage of using the numpy library here. You can not only divide elements of a list using the numpy library, but you can divide each element of a 2D array or a matrix with ease using the numpy library. So let's visualize that with the help of an example. Let's erase this piece of code. Okay. Now let's say that we have two nested lists A and B. Now we simply need to go ahead and convert them to an array. So let's do that and to do that we will take the help of the np.array method. So there we go. The array method will help us to successfully convert these nested lists to an array. Now let's say that we want to divide each element of the array A by each element in array B. So that means we want to divide 1 by 2, then we want to divide 2 by 4, then we want to divide 3 by 6 and so on. That means we typically want to achieve an element wise division of both the arrays. And this can be done with a single line of code now. All you have to do is print A divided by B which will deliver us the output that we want. Let's execute this code now. And there we go. We have the resultant array which stores the values that we wanted. So this is the advantage of using the numpy library. However, if you simply have a list, then please feel free to use any of the methods that we discussed in this video and they will help you to solve the problem. I hope this video helped you. If you have any doubts, please mention them in the comments below and I'll try my best to answer all your queries. Thank you.